Who's ready to get a little nerdy with the anatomy of the pole invert? Let's take a closer look at the key muscles involved with this move. First of all, it's our hip flexors that have to work hard to lift our feet off the floor and tuck our knees towards our torso. To be able to perform this knee tuck in an open chain position with the feet off the floor, we need a good stable base of core strength from which to move. This hip flexion and core stability is coordinated with some ninja level pulling strength to hold our body weight off the floor. This begins first with a vertical pull and transitions to a more horizontal pull as we tip back. Our lats work hard in our pull to keep our body lifted and our biceps keep our elbows flexed until our arms begin to straighten. At which point our biceps contract eccentrically to control the extension of our arms and the tip backwards into our chopper. While all of this is going on, our back is also working hard. Without the proper engagement of our back, our shoulders will round forwards, creating this flexed spinal position. In this rounded position, we have to rely more on the smaller muscles of our arms to hold us up. This is much harder to control. With the back muscles lengthened like this, it also makes it much harder for us to lift up out of our chopper into a clean leg hook. Instead, if we engage the upper back, we can stack our hips over our shoulders, creating a more efficient balance point, a more protective position for our shoulders and back, and a stronger place from which to transition out of our chopper. But that's not all. We also need a good amount of flexibility in our hamstrings and adductors as we move into the final V position. Our quads work to create that beautiful straight line while our abductor muscles and hip rotators create a nice wide straddle and externally rotate the legs. Wow, there's a lot going on with the pole invert. No wonder it's not as easy as it looks. If you want to geek out more on the anatomy of pole and how to get strong for pole dance, check out my blog, my online programs and my book, Strength and Conditioning for Pole at thepolept.com.